Harley-Davidson, an iconic name in the motorcycle industry, is renowned for producing premium bikes that deliver a powerful and exhilarating riding experience. Among their CVO lineup, the Road Glide and Road Glide ST, stand out as impressive choices for riders seeking top-tier performance and distinctive design. With plenty of similarities, whether it's in the design or engine department. Even their prices are just $1,500 apart. This means you're bound to scratch your head while picking between the two, and it's something we want to help you with today. By schooling you about all the nitty-gritty differences between the two road glides, which will ultimately smoothen out your decision-making process. For a better understanding, let's first see what CVO and ST mean. The Harley-Davidson CVO or Custom Vehicle Operations lineup represents the pinnacle of the brand's offerings. With a harmonious blend of craftsmanship, performance, exclusivity, and customization, CVO motorcycles exemplify the spirit of Harley-Davidson in its purest form. Each CVO motorcycle is meticulously handcrafted, showcasing the highest level of attention to detail. The bikes are not only powerful machines but also rolling works of art. From custom paint schemes to premium finishes and hand-selected materials, CVO motorcycles are a showcase of Harley-Davidson's commitment to offering riders a truly personalized and unique riding experience. The 2024 marks the 25th anniversary of the Custom Vehicles Operation Initiative. And Harley-Davidson has revealed the ST version to celebrate the feat. The ST stands for Special Touring. This designation signifies that the motorcycle is specifically designed and equipped to offer a unique blend of sportier handling characteristics and touring capabilities. The inclusion of ST in the model name suggests a focus on providing riders with a motorcycle that excels in both long-distance touring comfort and dynamic performance, making it well-suited for a variety of riding conditions. Accordingly, the new bagger boasts an array of special design elements. The most noticeable are the two gorgeous liveries Golden White Pearl and Raven Metallic. The former wraps the motorcycle in a shiny white finish, while the latter comprises a deep glittery black shade. True to the Harley-Davidson tradition, the CVO Road Glide boasts a bold and unmistakable design. Custom paint options, premium finishes, and attention to detail make this model a statement on the road. While retaining the iconic Harley-Davidson design language, the CVO Road Glide ST has a sportier aesthetic. The styling elements are geared towards reflecting its dynamic capabilities, with a look that complements its sport touring nature. Both come with Scream and Eagle graphics inspired by Harley's Moto America King of the Baggers race bike, topped off by red inserts on the cylinder heads, logos, and wheel stickers. You can find the exotic material on the front fender, exhaust tips, pillion seat cowl, and even the middle part of the tank. In contrast, the non-ST CVO Road Glide looks a lot simpler. It skips out on the forged carbon elements in favor of metal parts while featuring a chrome finish for the exhausts and engine fins. Another key difference is the set of cross-spoke wheels rather than alloys. You can have the RG and Copperhead and legendary orange colorways. A closer look also reveals the Road Glide has a bigger windscreen than the ST, alongside more premium-looking rearview mirrors. Just like the design, Harley-Davidson has ensured the ST feels sportier than its name twin as well. You sit on a new, reshaped saddle, with your hands on a low handlebar and feet on slim and sleek floorboards. In comparison, the non-ST model has a comfort-oriented seat, complete with large floorboards and a tall handlebar for maximum comfort. Also, there's no pillion saddle on the ST. That said, once aboard, both bikes have the same 12.3-inch touchscreen TFT instrument cluster. Even the features are the same, comprising bits like multiple ride modes, road, sport, track, track plus, rain, 
and custom modes. Inbuilt navigation via Apple CarPlay, cornering ABS, traction control, hill hold, cruise control, Rockford Fosgate Stage 2 6.5 inch fairing speakers with 500 watt amplifier. Let's talk mechanicals next. Both motorcycles feature Harley Davidson's new Milwaukee 8 121, 1977cc V twin powerhouse. Equipped with variable valve timing and air oil cooling. But there's a massive performance difference. That's because Harley Davidson has equipped the ST with a Screamin' Eagle exhaust system, a race inspired intake, and a high performance camshaft. These help it churn out 127 horsepower and 145 pound feet torque. A serious 12 ponies and 6 pound feet up from the 115 horsepower CVO Road Glide. The new bagger also has a lower final gear ratio to boost acceleration and tractability. Likewise, Harley Davidson has spruced up the underpinnings of the ST model. You get pedal disc brakes in all three places, along with fully adjustable Showa suspension and lighter alloy wheels at both ends. In contrast, the Road Glide has conventional rotors and non-adjustable upside-down forks. These differences, along with the carbon bits and smaller crash protection, help the ST weigh in at 800 pounds a whopping 25 pounds down from the standard CVO Road Glide. Both bikes equipped with dual front disc brakes with radially mounted four-piston Brembo calipers in the front, and a single four-piston Brembo caliper in the rear, enhance feel and overall braking performance. Surprisingly Harley-Davidson has priced the new CVO Road Glide ST at $42,999. This makes it $1,500 more affordable than its $44,499 sibling. Considering the price difference, there's no doubt the ST is the more value-for-money option, as it offers more power, premium suspension, and a head-turning design over the road glide. However, if you're someone who cherishes mile-munching abilities over performance and sportiness, we think you should pay the extra $1,500, and choose the non-ST CVO. If still torn between them, then head to your nearest dealership and take a test ride. Both bikes are already available in dealerships. Hope you found these informations useful. If so, please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified my future videos. Thanks for watching and see you the next one. Till then, ride safe.